Hey everybody, um, today we're taking a look at this Tyco SD cabinet. We haven't looked at one before, um, and this one we got from Playland Japan. They closed down what, last year, year, I think last year or year before. Um, it was really unfortunate, sad to see uh, you know, Bay Area arcade in uh, Japantown go. So um, they, they let go of a lot of their cabs last year, and then the rest of them this year I helped them move the last few things out and this Tyco was part of it. So we're going to unwrap it, take a look at it, and you'll uh, kind of see what a, what a cabinet in public use for a very long time looks like, as this one has been through a lot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this whole thing unwrapped, and I'll try to pass on anything I know about. Uh, so it has a Tyco 9 marquee, as it came originally, they got it as Tyco 9, and they got an upgrade to Tyco 13. So Tyco 13 is what it's running. We have the original Tyco 9 kit still. Um, and just to kind of finish this out, I opened it in a previous video and talked about it. I actually got this here, a Tyco 13 marquee, to go with the mix that's in there. So I'll set the, set the 9 aside, I'll keep that with the kit or whatever, but you know, I figured since we've got 13 in there, we'll have that. We can run 14 if we want, I don't know um, what I'm going to do, or honestly I don't know what the long term goal of this cabinet is. Um, it's kind of a, for now it's a filler for when we need two Tycos for a convention, or if we are running two conventions at once, like we are currently this weekend. Um, as of this recording. We just didn't have space for the second one, otherwise we would have done the restoration and had this out already. But uh, for now, it'll suffice until we have multiple HD Tycos, which is coming up soon in a couple months. We're going to have several of them. Um, and honestly, in my opinion, what HD Tyco offers is just above and beyond what we can get out of the SD ones. So I think part of, like, really the only draw you can get out of this is maybe some of the licenses, the older stuff that was in there that might be removed in the mixes. But regardless, it's a Tyco and um, they always do well. So first up, the most obvious glaring things with this cab is these drum pads, which have been through absolute hell and any public arcade is going to have that. Um, especially like in American arcades, there's a lot less care a lot more banging of these kind of games I feel um, and these have been through hell and uh, so we do have we do have some replacement parts that came along with it um, it looks like some of these drum pads are also taped up to um, you know try to keep them intact this one looks like it was new and it has tape over it I'm probably going to replace these I have um, brand new drum pads that I imported and um, I'll probably put the new pads on here, keep all this stuff as spare parts. Uh, but I just wanted to share, you know, what we got with the cab as well. Uh, so we have this one here, and we have this other pad. And actually, look, you can look at the bottom. This is probably where that. Well, and we'll see. We'll see when we get these apart. But it looks like they tried to reinforce this to give it as much life as possible like I can actually feel it right here it's super thin like like just re like feel that the the thinness of that spot right there yeah. you know like that you know people were were hitting right there and I, I don't know because like so for Tyco there's and, and I'll show you on, on this part here too um I think I posted pictures of this when we worked on the cab at Magnus but I have to get I still have to get a couple more of sets Oof. of these to um, to actually get this restored if I want to. Um, there's two separate pieces of wood for the middle and two for the outer ring, and each of these translates to the to the orange and blue notes. And underneath, um, oh the piezos are oh no they're they're there. It's it's between this piece that they're mounted on. And underneath there's there's piezo sensors, like drum sensors, attached to each of these so that when you strike it, the vibration triggers it. So it's interesting, you know, that you get 
Like, I don't know if that just got, the center just got hit a whole bunch, and that's, you know, that's, that's kind of not how the game's played, but it is what it is. Um, who knows? So anyway, this one, I don't know if it'll, like, we'll, we'll do some testing once we get some parts swapped out, but this one looks pretty worn out. Looks like there's, you know, the sides are kind of chewed up. Um, let's see what else do we have? It looks like this piece is, I don't know what this piece is for. Uh, we've got here a maintenance kit and manual. So this whole, the whole wood piece comes in a maintenance kit. And I've got a, I've got one here that I just got off Yahoo Japan. Where are my cards over here? And this is the second one I've got. I think I opened another one in a different box opening video. But they come like this. You see on the side, it's got, you know, Tyco maintenance kit. And I believe this is a used one. It's just using the box. So we've got a replacement foam for in between. You can see where the dust, you know, in between the, the pieces. We've got a pad here. This one's worn out. We're going to replace that as well. Um, and inside, we've got... So this center piece, these look pretty good. If I remember right, and I think we looked at these in the, in the video too, you can see how worn the this you know these portions of the wood are and it may even just you know so people are normally hitting along the top so this was probably up here on the on the left like this i'm sure if we were to rotate it and put this here you know this is going to get more life out of it so you know this might be a good part for replacing anything in one of those drums so <clears throat> there's those parts and i want to say there's a little bit more on the other side of the warehouse that we'll grab um, let's see what else we have here. Oh, looks like this is some, uh, I need to make sure this gets sent out. Uh, these go to the cranes. This is, what do we have here? Okay, so this is for Tyco 9. There's the, the manual for Tyco 9. And it looks like a bunch of this is crane stuff that I need to pass on to the person that got them. I think this is also, oh, this is the hopper for, let's set this over here. And, so this is also, this is the Evangelion patchy slot, the Noir that we did in a previous video. So I can set those aside. Okay. That's mine. This needs to go to somebody. Okay. So let's go over here. And I think we've got so two looks like newish drumsticks. Um, they're using regular drums for this stick. Too. I'm gonna I'll replace those at some point. I've also got new um, the the bags that they that hang here for them. Those are coming. Um, I don't know that I'll have those before the end of the video, but we're, we are going to replace those and try and get this as good looking as possible. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in and let's take a look at the cat itself and maybe even try to play test with what we've got. All right. Oh, we didn't plug it into the wall, did we? Unless I grabbed the wrong outlet. I don't know. I wonder if this outlet's not late. 
Is it a switched outlet? I don't know. I know these work, so... Yep, got lights. Oh, yeah. Apparently those outlets aren't plugged in. Okay. So, I did check these already, and um, they had recapped this monitor chassis, I believe. So, it doesn't look bad. I can see you know, the convergence is a little bit off, but... Like, otherwise it works, you know, pretty decently looking, so. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah we'll that's do, pretty bad. We'll do some adjustment, but, like, the rest of it, like, it, it's been recapped. It probably just needs to be adjusted from there. Uh, and we'll, we'll kind of do that adjustment off cam. So, let's uh, get some of this junk out of the way. Oh, free pen. I also haven't opened the bottom yet. I don't know if we have the, the key to that or not. The other, the Namco, the Noir that we got did not have the key to the bucket. So we weren't able to get into that. We're probably going to have to drill those. Um, I don't have the power drill here, so... Down. Let's, for the sake of trying, let's see if we... Like no on that too. Interesting. Okay. That light's on all the time. Which one? Top right. Oh, yeah, that's interesting, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and um just coin this up a bunch. I'm gonna try with these sticks first. Oh man. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, I'm not fun too. Oh no, yeah, these aren't, but these are a little closer. Yeah. Um, if I really want to, I'll replace them, but I think, like, really hardcore Taiko players, Bring their own they stuff. have an idea what they yeah. want, yeah. yeah. So I might get something, um, I might, you know, put on something a little bit. Oh, it's on free play already. I didn't have to turn it up. So, I mean, first thing, it's actually triggering, so that's something. <laughs> I mean, it's the bottom. He might have already yeah. rotated it. Yeah. But, like, it is triggering at least. Kind of. I don't remember if there's, like, a... There's another... This is probably a bad idea, considering I'm not good at this game. These drum pads are probably pretty screwed. I like games. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, Monster Hunter. Yeah, Monster Hunter shit. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah, no, you can really see the convergence. Yeah, yeah. There. We'll we'll tinker with that once we you know when we get a chance. Also, I don't know if like I might make I'm gonna make these a little bit longer too. Not that it really matters, but sure, why not? And we'll test these in. We'll, we'll go through um, test menu when we when we do this as well. Do not hit the. I feel like I'm gonna break the stick doing this. Yeah. It's triggering, so yeah. you know. That's uh that's something. And I mean this was when they closed, they did have this running, so okay. Um uh. It's not very good, but it, you know, it works. Let's try the other side. Actually, you know what? Let's just go into test menu and do an IO test real quick. Okay, so this is 2P center left, and you can see like, I'm tapping it and you can see like how, you know, which ones are actually hitting. So like if I hit, those are getting recognized, but like just a gentle one, kind of not at all. Same thing over here. 
So that's not triggering up at all. So yeah, they work, but you gotta, it looks like you really gotta... Whack them, man. Yeah, whack them. And I think even just replacing the pads are gonna make a big difference on that, and we'll, we'll kind of see how much of a difference it makes. Ooh, that one's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Well, it might be just that. That's, yeah. I mean, just... Uh... Now, I'm not super knowledgeable about these, and again, like I said, I'm not also not like incredibly good at the game or anything like that so yeah there are there are not really there's like one really good spot the rest of it kind of just doesn't and those sides this one in particular like the whack right there only does so much Well, regardless, we know, I, I mean, we expected it with, with the way it yeah. looked, but, um, so there's that. Um, let's go ahead and like take these apart and see what's looking underneath. So we've just got, oh, these are screwed in. I'm going to have to, I'll come back to this when we've got the right tools. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess that's really all I've got to look at for this cab right now until we start getting to work on it. Um, we can flip it around. Let's flip it around and uh, open up the back too. But uh, yeah, you can see how the front, the the trim, is just completely torn off. All the all the red T molding. Um, when we were moving regularly, moving the the CRT Tycos, like this is the least of the problems. This wood, this MDF that they that Namco used to make their cabs out of gets chewed up very easily. Um, and one of my big complaints with the Tyco SDs to come around the back here, and this one's not bad at all because it didn't have to get moved so much, is this this piece of wood sticks out. So if you put this back against the, the side of a truck, um, if you've seen any of the, the rental trucks that you get, there's like the, the metal bars and wood you know, going across, so there's constantly like single points of contact on the truck instead of just one wall. So when we put these back, like these, this portion has to be really heavily padded to prevent these from getting chewed up. They get chewed up all the time. Um, it looks like they screwed in the back for this too. So we'll, we'll look at the back inside. The key on um, it. Yeah, there is a oh, key, but oh, it's also okay, screwed yeah. in. So when we come back, we'll, we'll have all that open. We'll take a look at it. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we just got the back off. I just want to show you, there's really nothing to show in the back, and then we'll go around front, we'll take those pads off and whatnot. So it's actually quite clean inside. They, they must have kept it shopped out. There's just one um, bin of Satan sticks, AKA Sour Punch Twists, which are a uh, weakness of mine. But um, yeah, no, like the, it's very clean. We've just got our IO and, and like power stack here and the, the 246 right here. Um, that's really all there is in here. Like up here is just the monitor. We might we might do some monitor adjustment, that's it. Looks like there's an extra uh, 100 yen sticker there. But uh, anyway, let's come around front and let's look inside of these drum pads. I also did find my other uh, maintenance kit, so it's right there. Um, and I also grabbed two brand new of these, um, these uh, the, the drum covers. So like no matter what any of this is that we have, like all like it's all this is just going to be better. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with extra parts at this point. They're kind of useless. Could we get? I get you know ten or twenty of those pads at a time just in case we need them. Okay, so this is our first opening on this. We'll get to see what kind of gross crap is underneath. So first thing, these are also taped down. So. See if I can peel off the tape enough to actually remove this without damaging it. So fortunately we have replacements of these as well, but Ooh. at least this tape seems to peel off pretty easily without without leaving a ton of residue or anything, so. Mm. But it's still pretty annoying. I can imagine, like, I, 
even if I did open a location here in Reno, I would never have the kind of foot traffic that Playland Japan had. I can only imagine the maintenance nightmares they had to go through keeping all this stuff up and running for people. It's kind of a wonder and you know, I know a lot of people give me a lot of credit for what I deal with and whatnot, but this is an entirely different kind of difficulty in arcades. What they must have gone through keeping all this stuff right. And like I said, you know, this, this pad, they, they felt like it worked. It uh, definitely wasn't great. It wasn't something that like a high-end player is going to go and say, yeah, I'm going to go, you know, full camo a bunch of stuff. But, um, you know, they kept it working. They did what they could. It's uh, kind of impressive. So, there we go. That's off. And once this tightener is off, this should just peel off with little to no effort. It's kind of like a car tire, but not so bad. Okay, maybe a little more effort. Okay. There we go. So yes, it looks like underneath we've got um, this pad is um, also has this tape mod on it to probably to patch up some of this. I've been thinking um, down the line I might get, there was a, a long time ago, there was someone on Yahoo Japan that makes plastic versions of these um, and that, that just don't wear as much. And I'm going to put this back into IO test real quick and uh, maybe we can see if we get a little more sensitivity directly, um, or if there's actually, you know, we'll, we'll probably have to replace these as well. So yeah, underneath we've got the same tape here. I kind of want to peel off this middle and see if there's just a hole in there, which I almost, there's almost certainly is. I'm just going to, this is going in the, this is getting trashed anyway, so let me grab the knife. Um, did I leave the knife over here? Did you see it? I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. Maybe I sent it somewhere, but I'll, I'll cut into this later at some point, and uh, we'll kind of get a look. So I'm going to take the drumsticks here real quick. Just see if... Oh, look at that. Nice. So yeah, these, well... That's playable. No, I only, yeah, this is, this is totally playable, but... Um, these are probably more than sensitive enough to leave as they are. Like, this part looks pretty intact. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I might at some point take one of these spare ones apart just so that, um, you know, you can have a look at exactly how it all works. But that feels pretty good. I'm going to just throw one of these brand new pads on and see how much of a difference that makes. And then we'll go from there. Um, Mmm, that smell of brand new rubber. So this is a brand new one that looks like there's there's some little blemishes and whatnot, but um, yeah, it's nice and clean. We took we took one out that had brand new rubbers to a show, and after one show, like you'll you'll see immediately the initial wear on it, um, which. I think a couple people were like, oh, well, that's a shame. I was like, no, that's, that's what's going to happen. It's getting warm. But, like, anyway, that's what they look brand new. Just this really shiny, flat, like, it'll get ruined in, in, in one weekend, for sure. But, well, rather, it'll, it'll get worn down. So let's get this thing on. Just do it the reverse of what I did. And we'll see how much of a difference just the pad makes. <sighs> up one bit at a time and ow. okay 
And also, just side note, these knockers are missing. Uh, a friend of mine is actually got a 3D model and made um, replacements for those knockers. And normally they're all just one piece, but he's making them with like actual knockers that that, uh, that you can like flip up and down and stuff. So I'll probably be getting a set from him for this cab since this is missing them. Uh, they do come up on Yahoo Japan, so they're not impossible to get. Um, but I'm, so I might do that. Okay, so that's on. And let's just give it a smack and we'll see what we've got. That's better. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I mean, it's, it's not even like the, the hitting too hard part, but like... It's I couldn't going, get yeah. it to register if, unless I hit it directly on the side of the... Uh... Yep, that's going all the way up. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that the, the pad makes a big difference. So the sides, I think... The sides are kind of... Are a little bit wonky, but... Yeah. That you, if you notice, because like it's because it's hitting the edge of that wood, yep. that part wears a lot more. So if anything, you know, the sides are probably what really needs to be replaced. I might still do the replacement on this. I don't know. Um, this is already a major improvement. Like, like it doesn't really super trigger if I lightly tap it like that. Like it is enough to, but like that's infinitely better than this one where you know do the same the same taps. Like it works, but like only certain spots or whereas over here it's just it's good and yeah those are better so that's cool let's grab one of these throw it back on um i don't know what matters i'm just going to put them on the same way they were okay that and tension it down actually i think it was the other way but whatever no okay that's the same as the other pad and then oh yeah it is okay and this is just what i was saying they've got this bolt on there that has to come off just so that um people don't go like taking these off there was a uh Oh, I mean, I guess if you're watching these things, there was a famous video, a, a security camera, camera footage of someone in Japan stealing the drum off of one of these machines. And they got caught. They're on freaking camera. Like, how, how dumb do you have to be? But um, yeah, there's also a lot of famous videos of people, like, kicking the drums and all sorts of crazy shit. Um, okay, so that's on there nice and good. And this side... Yeah. That's not, the sides think, are so uh, on Tyco HD and in our video we we noted it too. Like you can actually increase and decrease the sensitivity of that. I don't know. I can't really see. It, it looks like there's. Um, we can go and so let's see if this is. That's two, you're on one B right now. So we want to go to two P. KR. So we want to. So that lowers, I believe, the where it triggers. So you see, like, and actually, you know, um, there's there's actually another. I, I kind of want to try this because I've seen it on videos. People yelling at them and the vibrations enough. So if I go, ah, okay, it doesn't no, do anything. Never no. mind. <laughs> uh, they they must have done something. Like I, I uh, but um, if we do this, those little hits. Will trigger a little bit better and I think for both for both the, the edges I'm gonna go and increase the sensitivity on that uh, do we want to go oops that's probably too much maybe like the key is like hitting okay well I'm gonna put it at that for now um, let's go and we need KL which is Oh wait, no, this is, oh, I get it. Okay, so this is for the light ones and this, and then KR is for, this is, or the, the die is for like the big hit. So let's see if we want to go big. 
let's lower that a little bit as well. Um, so if we were to do light, 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 up. Oh. Let's just do that. 423, and then let's do the same settings for the other side, which is going to be KL, correct? Put that down to 23. Back. Set this to 4. And it looks like everything's set to default right now, so they probably didn't know about this. So I don't know how much that'll affect the game, but we'll try. And I'll try with an easier chart, something that I can actually do. But there's, it feels like there's a bit of a dead spot there. Yeah, I had anyway, it directly on the side for its register. This is fine though. Yeah. Like this is super going off. I won't adjust any of those. I'm gonna just preemptively do the other side as well. Here, I'm gonna oops, set this to. Set this to 23, these to 4. Okay. And see, I think even on this side, without the pads changed out, it makes it a little bit better. But, um, okay, let's go ahead, let's switch this one out, and then we'll go back in the game. I'll play a little bit of an easier song. And uh, and whatnot. So let's see what we've got underneath this one. And I might go get grab the tripod so we can both play for the for a final test. So, and I'll get that marquee switched out as well. Yeah. Oof. These are. Definitely not recoverable pads. So I'm just gonna save myself the trouble and throw it in the trash. I still have, even though I've been doing this now for four and a half years, I have the, uh, well, I've been in the hobby for longer, but there's a, there's a certain point doing this stuff as a business where you feel really uncomfortable throwing shit away, but that's just part of what you gotta do, and these things are not worth keeping, so I will be throwing these pads in the trash. Okay. Now, I expect to see about the same thing underneath on this. Actually, this one's quite a bit worse. Maybe we should try swapping yeah, the corner on this we'll one. I think we'll swap. Ooh, there's like, there's just wood falling out. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. we'll replace this. So we're going to replace this one. Um, yeah. If I remember right, there are yeah, there's four big screws here. Well, I, I, um, I have the hard or the so I'll, I'll come back to that. Um, I'll uh, grab the tool to get that off. Uh, I think we'll swap out the header and then come back and, and wrap this up. So yeah, this one's just a little bit. It's a, like if you look at it, there's um, some tissue paper stuffed in here to give it more space. Um, you know, because this this is all very worn out. Um, I might take this off and actually, you know, I could just rotate this. I think I can just rotate this one. I don't have to replace it. Uh, I don't know. We might replace it. Regardless, we'll take this will be a good opportunity because we can look at you know what's underneath this. So we'll be right back. Uh, go. Okay, so here we've got. Ooh, uh, this was the one that we just took out. I noticed that these have different connectors on them than the. Uh, than our replacements, which is fine. Um, it's just interesting because uh, when I, the last CAD that I worked on at Magfest had these these same connectors here, um, and they have these colored stickers on them, so you know which piezo is which. Um, but I wanted to look this over because we are not going to reuse this. We're not going to try and fix this at all. This thing is pretty fucked up. 
Um, I have a friend of mine that is going to make re uh, reproductions of the, the wood for this, so we'll be able to replace this later. But you can see here, like, there's some tissue that is heavily taped down into the middle of this, and the wood is just extremely well worn from regular use. Um, same thing like here underneath, like you can just see it's pretty destroyed. So we are going to use one of our two replacement kits here. This one's really clean. Um, this one looks just as good, honestly. So I'm probably, I'm just going to use that one and keep this on reserve. Um, but I just want to show that. And then also you can see here, like these pads, like that center spot is, there's definitely a hole all the way through. And that's, you know, that's why they're, they're there. Um, probably even pull this out. Yeah, it's just paper underneath. What's on it though? Yeah. So it's just paper and like the, the tape, it's, so it's just worn all the way through. But, uh, okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, I need the socket for this, but we're going to take this apart and transplant it onto these. And once now that we've got this part, I probably I'm not gonna do this whole thing on video or whatever, but I just wanted to show um, what we're looking at with the parts underneath. So here you've got the piezo, and um, it mounts this piece will mount onto here, I think like this. Is that right, the right spot? Where is the right spot for this? Oh, this is the inside. Okay, so it goes right here. And then you would have this feed through this hole in the middle here, I think. And you can see like where it comes out on that one over there. Um, but yeah, it's got these rubber spacers, the piezo, the sensors right there. Um, get this. Oh, this one's a little, just pulls a little bit, that's why. So you see when it comes together, then it's, you know, it's, it's all like that one. Uh, like that. So yeah, we're going to do our little transplant here. We'll come back, get this put back on, and uh, do a little test. Probably put it back together, put the marquee on, and we'll be done. So we'll be right back once we got that done. Okay, so these two nerds over here don't want to play, so apparently I have to test both sides by myself. But, we got both sides done, um, this one, it's not, I don't think it feels quite as good even though we replaced it, but it is definitely better than it was before, and I'm very okay with that. Like, both of these work honestly well enough for most people, like it's not going to go for a high-end player or anything like that, and, um, but it doesn't need to, I don't think there's anything crazy hard before the HD versions came anyway. So I'm gonna just really quickly pull up anything. Let's just, let's go anime this time. Like we've literally got a container probably pulling up right now. It's probably been. And just record something real quick. Yep, there they are. And, uh, you know, just to kind of show what we've got done. This is probably actually too hard for me. Yeah, this is too hard for me. Well, whatever, you know, I don't, I don't really care. But the point is, it works. Like, it, it, it seems to work, oh well, actually, it, 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 it seems to work pretty well. So, I just wanted to hop that out because I want to uh, get this pad put away before uh, we do our container here. Um, I'm gonna get this put away back and make some space, so. Anyway, yeah, that's all we've got for now. We've got the marquee on there. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it, but maybe we'll see it at Cax or something. I might, I might list it there or something. Someone will you know, pass it on to somebody that you know, is looking for, for a classic. So I guess that's it for this uh, Tyco. We'll be back with something. God, I don't even know what order I'm uploading stuff anymore, but uh, we're gonna do this container next, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.